before we jump in into actually retrieving these values from the database and showing them to our users, we need to understand what lists are or what Python lists are because we are going to be retrieving these items as a list. So we first need to grasp what the what lists are in Python. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. This is going to be uh, a dummy project. Uh, let's call it Playground so that we can play along with lists and understand what they do. So I'm going to create a pure Python project and I'm going to go to my desktop and hit new folder, say playground, okay, choose, create in a new window, yes. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new Python file and say lists. Doesn't matter what you call it. Okay, so what are lists? A list in Python and basically in any programming language is a way to group a collection of items under one variable. Okay, so let's say list underscore one is going to be a list and we declare a list but we're using these square brackets in Python. Okay, so I was saying a list is a way to group a collection of items under one variable. So let's say a, b, c, uh, c and let's say d and close the list with the other square bracket. Okay, so this is a collection of items. Con uh, concretely, it's a collection of strings, right? This is a string, this is another string, so on and so forth. Okay, so we are placing a collection of, of items in the list. So this way we can group them together and assign them to a variable. So let's go ahead and print the list one. Let's open up our embedded terminal that PyCharm brings. If you don't have this in your IDE, open up your iTerm. I'm going to open up a new window of, of terminal, of my terminal, and I'm going to navigate, in this case, CD to my desktop, because I have saved, I have created the folder there on my desktop, and then my folder is called Playground, and then I can run the ls command, see that my lists is here, and then I can go ahead and hit Python lists, and this will run my program. I'm going to close out of iTerm and switch back to my embedded terminal. It's going to be a little bit cleaner and do the same thing. So Python lists and the same thing happens. Okay, cool. Now, what can we do with lists? Well, uh, first of all, lists in Python, it's worth to mention, let's duplicate this one, but add, let's say, numbers, okay? Lists in Python can hold any kind of value or any kind of data type, and we can even mix them together. So let's print uh, list two, run the script, and we see, in fact, you know, this is correct. We are not getting an error. Okay, so what can we do with lists? We can, for example, append items to lists. So let's stick with the list one and say list one dot append and append e. Okay, so let's print the list before appending the item and then let's print it after appending the item and see what the difference is. Okay, see, we here the first one before appending is the original list, and after appending, we have added an item to the list. Okay, another way of appending is let's say instead of using the append method, we can say plus equals a new list and the item e in this list. Okay, so essentially, this gives the exactly the same result. To the original list, we are appending another list of one item, of one element in this list, and the item is a string with the letter E in it. And the plus equals notation is basically saying, add to the original list one something, and this something is this new list here. Okay? So that's what the plus equals does. We can also verify what, whether or not something is in the list. So let's say print e in list one okay and actually let's print it twice i'm going to well now i'm going to keep this print and i'm going to print it before the appending and after the appending okay so this should correct this should give two different values in the original list e so e the string e is not in the list so this returns returns false and after appending the the check so the e in list one returns true okay so this is all nice and fancy so the next thing you might be asking is okay 
I have a collection of items, but how do I access each individual item, right? So imagine I want to, to transform each one of these elements to uppercase, right? So how do I do that? Well, you, you can't just apply a uppercase function to the entire li list, right? Because a list is not a string. So you can't say, I want a uppercase list. That doesn't make too much sense. So what we can do in this case is, let's say, create a new list. So list2 or list underscore upper maybe is a better description and create an empty list. Now, the next thing we need to do is basically we need to get item by item, turn it into the uppercase letter and add it to the new list, list upper. Okay, this is what we would do maybe physically if, if we were given this task. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to delete these prints to not clutter up our console. And let's see how we can access item by item. The easiest way to access item by item is using a for loop. Okay, so a for loop loops through the list and gives you access to each individual item. So we can say for letter in list one. Okay, and now let's say print letter. Okay, see what happens here. And we see that each letter is printed out individually and not in the list. So now we can say, okay, so let's say list upper dot append because we are going to add and we are going to add the letter. But since we want to add it in the uppercase, we can say letter dot upper, okay, which the upper method on the string basically gives the uppercase string, okay. So now let's print out list one, which will be the original list and print out the list upper. Go ahead and run this and we see it's working. Okay, great. So this is a quick overview into lists. Uh, basically, these are the main things we will want to be doing with lists, manipulating lists and accessing each item within the list. So this will be very useful to retrieve our information from our data store because when we query the data store, the data store is going to give us back the results in a list format. Okay, so let's go and implement our query and show stuff to our users.